all like to... <laughs> what do you think, Joe? I tell you whose voice I'd like to hear doing uh, the sat-nav. I think Homer Simpson, uh, turn right. Oh, I meant turn left. <laughs> uh, I do, do you remember yesterday we were talking about nice guys earning less money? Well, here's a story in the Independent saying that uh, successful, women, uh, successful women have higher levels of testosterone, so they're slightly more masculine uh, than their other peers. You can see pictures of the boss of PepsiCo here, uh, the boss um, of Pearson that owns the FT. So they've done very, very well for themselves, according to this study from the Proceedings of the National Academy of Scientists, my favourite bedtime reading. They um, are doing very, very well. Slightly masculine in their behaviour rather than their looks. No, they just got higher levels of testosterone, which yes. means they take risks. Mm. Part of testosterone is, 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 is part of the risk-taking gene. Uh, front page of the, of the Financial Times, uh, this is about General Motors. Um, there's been a lot of toing and froing. We thought at the weekend uh, uh, General Motors were plumb for either Magna uh, from Canada or uh, RHJ in Brussels, but apparently they're thinking of a third plan, which means that they would kind of buy back Opel from uh, the trust. Opel, by the way, is the sister company of Vauxhall, so that's what they're thinking of, uh, of that. And um, well, finally, shares recover in Britain. Uh, as you can see, it's a huge... A uh, huge rally over the summer, 25-year high rally, and shares are at an eight-month high. Now, other stories. Remember the ice save debacle uh, last autumn? Well, Iceland promised to repay Britain the £2.3 billion that was lost when their largest banks collapsed. Now, the Icelandic parliament is debating whether or not it can repay that money. If Iceland decides not to pay the money back, it will jeopardise loans from the IMF and even its plans to join the EU. Well, certified accountants say that politicians should not use green taxes to plug any shortfall in national revenues. Pressure has been growing on the government to use any environmental taxes to help pay for ballooning deficits. But a report by the Association of Chartered Certified Accountants says that these taxes must have the support of voters and companies. And yesterday we heard from Bovis. Today we'll get an update from another major house builder, Persimmon, on how the first half of the year went for them. The housing market has been hard hit in the recession, with most builders shedding thousands of jobs. Persimmon reported a pre-tax loss of £780 million last year, but said that there were signs that the market was stabilising. And uh, later on, we'll be talking uh, to the boss of Divine Chocolate. That's the, the fair trade chocolate company. And I know you won't be interested in this, but they will be bringing samples with them that we, uh, we, we could sample. But, but you'll probably, share. Uh, well, it depends on how nice <laughs> you are to me in the course of the morning. Yeah, thank you very much. It would be very nice if it was chocolate.